in August 2023, Chandrayaan-3 landed on the moon. ISRO's feat signified more than India's advancement in science and space technology. It signaled to the world that India now has the spirit of innovation, scientific talent and the desire to invest in technology that can change lives. In recent years, India has led the way in people-centered innovation. The success and the reach of platforms like UPI and Aadhaar are compelling examples. They democratize the access to technology for people who were traditionally outside those perimeters. With advancements in artificial intelligence and large language models, LLM, India's indigenous tech sector is at an inflection point. AI breakthroughs will profoundly augment how we work and live. Undoubtedly, there will be a massive shift in computing. This shift could be as momentous as the invention of the personal computer, internet, smartphones, etc. But the real game changer here could be sovereign AI. Sovereign AI refers to a nation's capabilities to produce artificial intelligence using its own infrastructure, data, workforce and business networks. NVIDIA CEO Jensen Wang said that every country needs to have its own artificial intelligence infrastructure in order to take advantage of the economic potential while protecting its own culture. Indian government has recently approved 103 billion rupees funding package to bolster the nation's AI infrastructure. The cornerstone of the effort is a planned supercomputer that will have at least 10,000 GPUs. This could potentially help India develop homegrown app store, mapping services, search engines, space tech, cloud storage systems, etc. Compared to leading deep tech geographies, India is still at a nascent stage of deep tech funding. However, the ripple effects of path-breaking policy moves, untapped market opportunities and world-class talent are setting the stage for exponential growth. Over the last few decades, India has established itself as a dominant global player in IT services outsourcing. Companies like TCS, Infosys and Wipro have driven this success model by providing low-cost effective software development testing and business process management for enterprises across the world. India's IT service industry now accounts for nearly 8% of the country's GDP. This sets up India perfectly for the next phase of technology leadership, spearheading innovation in global deep tech entities. Much like Indian IT service firms localized software development and disrupted the western dominated landscape, Indian deep tech startups have an opportunity to pioneer the fourth wave by building innovative solutions, harnessing technologies like AI, LLM and more. But can this be yet another tech bubble? Global investors are increasingly of the opinion that yet another dot-com bubble is building up in the US. For example, the number of sectors represented amongst the top 10 most valuable companies in the US is actually less diverse in 2024 than it was during the peak of the dot-com bubble. In 2000, there were six sectors represented amongst the top 10 stocks compared with just four today. What's more, during both 2000 and 2024, tech giants represent the biggest share of the index total market capitalization. In India, however, notwithstanding the debacle of few tech startup IPOs that crashed post-listing like Paytm, Nika, Policy Bazaar, valuations of the tech sector have been reasonable. So speculating on the possibility of a dot-com bubble in the Indian shores seems premature for now. But what about investing in AI and deep tech buzzwords and IPOs? As an investor, you ought to be careful about companies using the buzzwords of deep tech to their advantage without creating enough shareholder value. Idea Forge Technology 
for instance, saw Stellar Public Listing in 2023 being the first IPO to be subscribed over 100 times since 2021. The company is a manufacturer of drones, unmanned aerial vehicles. Since then, the company has shed a third of its listing price due to weak quarterly earnings data and on profit booking. A steady order book and demand for drones from the government are seen as positives. According to NASCOM, there are over 3,000 deep tech startups in India growing at over 53% per annum over the last decade. Deep tech startups account for 12% share of the Indian startup ecosystem, a third of which are in the enterprise tech and the banking, financial services and insurance segments. India now also has its own policy for deep tech ecosystem. Though the ecosystem is in a nascent stage, this is also the segment witnessing rapid growth among startups which are using advanced technologies like artificial intelligence, machine learning, Internet of Things, blockchain, big data and robotics. The bulk of these startups are looking to raise money by way of IPOs over the next few years. As an investor, you must evaluate these stocks not just on the basis of profitability but also the possibility of their frothy valuations. Like Howard Marks wrote in his recent memo, one of the quotes I return to most frequently is Mark Twain's purported observation that history doesn't repeat itself but it often rhymes. For investors, cycles along with their causes and effects are amongst the influential matters that invariably rhyme from one period to the next. Meanwhile, here's the list of deep tech stocks that can be on your watch list. Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.